We have to get rid of it because you will never have the victory you should holding on to stuff that's separating you from your victory. Amen? Amen. Now let's get a little background on the text here. Uh, uh, the battle for AI, we must understand, is that Israel had just completed uh, their conquest against Jericho. And, and, and that conquest gave them great victory. However, before they took the city of Jericho, Joshua warned them not to take any of its treasures because its treasures belong to God. Uh -huh. They were warned. Before, before you go up against Jericho, uh, I don't want you to take uh, any treasures because those treasures belong to God. You got to let that stuff go. That stuff belongs to God. Don't take anything for yourself uh -huh. is what they were warned. But then there was a brother named Achan, and, and, and Achan disobeyed the order by taking some clothes, some jewelry, and some money. Uh -huh. You know, was a brother. I know Achan was a brother. Achan, uh -huh. Achan took, saw a nice outfit. When, when, they, when they took over Jericho, he saw a nice outfit. He took it. Man, this is nice, man. This is, uh -huh. this is, nice. This is a nice sweater. And he took that for himself. Uh, he, saw, he saw money, and he took it. He saw jewelry and he took it and so now because he has taken this which was meant for the Lord's treasury there is sin in the camp which is causing a hindrance against Israel and caused them to lose the battle against Ai uh -huh. there's a lesson within this itself that we have to get the Lord commanded, well, Joshua commanded them not to take anything because everything that they seized from Jericho would belong to the Lord's treasury to build his house. Uh -huh. Get this. There's a lesson on not taking what belongs to God. Amen. Because when you take what belongs to God, you begin to uh, mess up what God's plans is and you take it out of God's house and you bring a curse upon yourself. Mm. I can't preach like this. Let me take this off. There's something wrong up in here today. Woo, Jesus. <laughs> I can't preach like this. This, this ain't working for me. Uh, thank you, sir. Oh, man. Just change the whole thing. Anyway, anyway, so, 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 Joshua. Now warns the people, and he says, listen, don't take anything from the Jericho because everything belongs to God and in God's house. Amen. Don't touch none of it. If you touch any of it, you're going to bring a curse upon yourself. Here's a lesson that we can learn, and let's pick up on this real quick. Anytime you don't obey God in the things concerning his treasury where his house is concerned, you cursed. Amen. <laughs> you cursed. I, I, I can't. I, I don't know about anybody else, but 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 you curse. You you you, you can't take what belongs to God and what God intended for him for his house and use it for yourself and be blessed. Mm -hmm. That's a lesson. Y'all don't like that, but that's a Amen. lesson. So I wish I had some folks that would talk to me. Yes. Today. What, is it yes. the weather <laughs> or is it me? <laughs> I need to step down for a minute and just let somebody else preach. Uh, uh, anyway, you can't take what belongs to God, what he has commanded for his house, and use it for yourself. Amen. Amen. So now, Achan takes money, he takes jewelry, and he takes clothes for himself. He hides them under his tent, and all of a sudden, Israel decides, you know what? We've had a great conquest over Jericho, so what we can do now is, I need, uh, Joshua says, hey, I need you to go out and spy out Ai. Amen. So he called a couple of brothers together and said, hey, go spy out Ai and see what's going on in Ai and see what's happening. And so they went and they spied Ai out. And then, because of, of their ignorance, they went and did it, and the people, the spies came back and said, their arrogance rather, and the spies came back and said, uh, two, uh, send two or three thousand men to go and take our AI because they're defenseless. Mm -hmm. Their defenses isn't good. Go out, you're going to get Joshua, let me tell you something. You ain't got to send everybody. Don't send everybody up. 
only sent two to three thousand men because we can take them. They started chest bumping. They started high fiving. They started fist pounding. <laughs> they started fist pounding and chest bumping and high fiving because they thought that they had the victory. But what Joshua didn't know is that there was somebody in the camp who was holding on to something that he should have that was going to cost him. That's right. Uh, see, here's where the arrogance come into play. If they would have consulted God before going up, God would have showed them and pointed out to them that there's somebody in the camp that has done something that they shouldn't be doing. Get that fixed first before you go to battle. Right. Ooh, man, help me up there. Help me yes, up there. Yes, man. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, uh, 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 we have to understand now that we can't get so confident in what we have already conquered that we forget about obeying what God has commanded. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Sometimes yeah. people get so confident in what they've already done that they begin to ignore God and don't pay attention to the order that he has given them and don't consult him. And so they do things and they lose. Hey, Amen. I don't right. want to lose. Tell somebody I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. lose. Here, here's, here's, here, here's what we have to understand. Let me explain something to you. You can't walk in disobedience and victory at the same time. That's right. <laughs> you got me. One the other. I appreciate that. You yeah. can't walk in disobedience and have victory at the same time. That's you right. got to make a decision that today I'm going to choose to walk in victory and let go of my disobedience. Or you can easily make a decision and say, hey, I'm going to continue to be disobedient and forget about victory. Mm -hmm. That's right. But watch this. If you choose to be disobedient, don't get mad with God when he's not operating in your life like that's you want right. to. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Woo! Come you on gotta now. get in battle formation. You, you gotta get in battle formation. So 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 no. So when so when we get to our text in chapter eight, Joshua has dealt with the sin of Achan. He has checked his attitude and he has changed his war strategy against Ai. And all of these changes leads to Israel gaining the victory over Ai. Mm -hmm. So when we get to chapter 8, Joshua clearly changes his war strategy. What did Joshua do to change his war strategy against Ai? Joshua strategically set up a war strategy that was designed to ambush the army of Ai and seize the city at the same time. <laughs> he, he sets up an ambush he sets up a strategy that will ambush AI and seize the city at the same time at first they just went out with no strategy why? because they were arrogant they, 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 they thought that hey we can take this city we don't need all this we, it's just a few of us man. we just took Jericho down man. The Jericho is one of the more fortified cities oh my god we took we had a strategy in Jericho but then when we see AI we think that we can conquer it and we just go out uh -huh. watch this listen to this whoever you whoever brought you to the prom you got to dance with them. <laughs> that makes sense. Amen. Amen. Whoever brought you to the poem or the party, that's who you dance with. Mm -hmm. you, you don't switch partners in the middle. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Amen. Amen. Here's the thing. They had a strategy that they got from God when they took Jericho. Uh -huh. That's right. But when they see AI, they see AI and it doesn't look like it's anything worth uh, get, getting prepared for we'll just send some folk out mm -hmm. they lost right. mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever strategy it took for you to take Jericho Joshua mm -hmm. it's going to take you a strategy to take down AI it doesn't matter how great the city or how small the city never move in warfare without what? a strategy that's right oh y'all hearing me y'all feeling me now amen yeah. we feel you so now, watch this, watch this. So now, uh, uh, Joshua says, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to need some soldiers to get behind the city. We're going to need some soldiers to get in front of the city. And then he positions himself in the valley below the city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. This is called, ladies and gentlemen, a battle formation, which is a plan that, that strategically positions.